Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Dozer 1 video. And recently I had a very interesting idea. So basically I was wondering if you have some kind of landing gear failure, just imagine the gear does not come out. What would be the worst landing gear part to fail? Would it be the nose landing gear or the main landing gears? I don't know. So uh, I thought let's uh, kind of test things out, right? Now we are in Aerofly FS 2020, the mobile version. You know, I'm not home, so I have to use my phone to actually simulate stuff, but this is all right. The problem about Aerofly is, though, that you have to genuinely, like, land very, very, very hard to properly break your gear so that it doesn't come out. So let's do that first, right? Now let's just simulate a nose gear failure first. Why not? This could also be a test of, like, how hard can you land onto the nose gear so that it dies? Yeah, very scientific as always. Let's try it out. Now, let's go ahead and approach Catalina Airport. It is quite a small airport. Even the Q400 is a bit too big for this one. Now, now let's just uh, try this, right? Let's use some flaps. Now the Q400 and Aerofly FS20, oh, we're already stalling out or something, is actually quite a nice plane. You know, it's, uh, I generally like the Q400, even though it is not perfect plane. Especially when it comes to handling, this is very bad for, pi oh, very bad for pilots. It's very hard to land as well. But generally, this is quite an interesting plane. Just as interesting as my Instagram. Yes, I keep plugging that one. We are quite unfast. Let's go a little faster and then slam on to the runway. Let's try this. Okay, let's go ahead. This is the only way we can do this, actually. Yes, I think that worked out. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was really not a good landing. But let's see if we damaged anything. And mission successful. We actually broke our nose gear. I think it actually broke off because I don't see anything in the in the gear hold. So I'm pretty sure the nose gear has broken off. Let's try to uh, retract and deploy the landing gear again and see if the nose gear does still come out. And no, we have just lost our nose gear. That is very, very, very challenging, actually. And you need a long runway for that. So <laughs> let's use Catalina Airport, shall we? I mean, why? the hell not. What is the normal approach speed of the Q400? And have I already noticed that the clouds in Aerofly FS 2020 look very, very nice? Now we need to land as fast as possible because we want to save fuel. I mean, this is a budget airline, so what are you going to do, right? Let's try to make this. What are all those sounds? What are they warning me from? We are very, very fast. I don't like that. <laughs> Oof, that was a hard landing. Okay, that was kind of a failure, wasn't it? I mean, if I was Sully, I would just simply land in the ocean. I mean, that would be an option, right? All right, let's actually use a longer runway now. We are approaching LAX, which obviously has uh, runways that are a bit longer, I can imagine. So uh, maybe we will not die this time around. That would be great. Now, honestly, I am uh, very much struggling with the mobile controls of this flight simulator. Like, generally, I hate the accelerometer controls. So yeah, if forgot that we need to break the landing gear again, so let's do that. We're kind of rolling off the runway, but here's the rudder steering. Let's, uh, break our nose gear. Yep, that was successful. Now, let's try actually doing a successful emergency landing. And honestly, this looks really nice. Oh, what just happened? What the hell just... What was that? Now, let's go ahead and, uh, try surviving, right? I'm very excited to butterize this point. Let's go ahead and, uh, just come in for a good landing. Hopefully. Okay, let's make sure to butter. We are kind of fast and very high, but who cares? Yes, no. Okay, touchdown. Let's start to stop. Oh, we might actually overrun. That's not good. That was not really the smoothest landing I've ever done, but we survived. This does not look like a healthy plane, though, but who cares after all? This is, by the way, the ugliest livery I've seen in a while. <laughs> Just look at this. Doesn't look good, does it? Let's try the 777 for once because, oh, it's the newest aircraft in this flight simulator. All right, and let's now break the nose landing gear. Oh, no. <laughs> Oof. Yep, that was probably successful. Yep, that was successful. Let's try it then, right? Now, it's quite easy to break the nose landing gear in this flight simulator, but it's very hard to break the main landing gear. So, uh, yeah, let's try to do this right. Okay, keep the nose up a bit, and then somehow try to stop, right? Yeah, we just touched down the nose. Oof. Oh, we kind of rolled off there. Obviously, you don't have ground control since there is no nose landing gear. <laughs> it was quite a successful landing, though, wasn't it? Yeah, we kept the nose up for a second, and then boom. <laughs> yeah, that was quite successful, though. So we can definitely say that, you know, a nose landing gear might look actually, like, kind of cool, but it's probably not the worst dangerous landing gear emergency situation that you can have. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow as always, good night.
Yeah.